Let me show you how to create a new Webflow. There are a lot of templates included in the free Webflow which you can use right away. However, I will start from the very beginning so you can understand how it works, how to combine workflows, and how to create a new workflow. Let's create a workflow where you drop all the PDF files you receive from client ABC into a folder and where the workflow shall insert the client name ABC into the file name. Remember that anywhere, anytime in the Webflow, you can get the interactive help by pressing F1 or in the right-click menu. It's quite useful, especially in the beginning, but also still beneficial as you become a more advanced workflow creator. Remember that a workflow consists of four elements. A source folder, which is typically an FTP folder, a network folder, or a local folder. A file template, which defines all the info about the file, an action which automatically performs the function you want the workflow to do in the background, a destination folder where the processed file ends. When you remember those four steps, you can go on and on adding new workflows to existing workflows. It's only your imagination which limits you. Remember, just four steps. First, let's choose a source and a destination folder. Right click and choose new folder. Browse through your files and you can choose one you already have. However, I will create a new folder and just save it on my local desktop. I browse, find desktop, and click on Make New Folder. We'll just name it Input Client ABC Files and then OK. May I recommend that you always type an explanation text which will be displayed on the folder in the workflow. I will call it Input ABC Insert File Name and then OK. Maybe you got curious about those tabs up there. If you choose Advanced, you will see a help text when you move your mouse over the functions. Here are the filters and a lot of other parameters you can add to the folder. Play around with them yourself. I especially like the Alert, which I recommend you use on all folders. But again, remember to activate F1 when you want to know more about the function you choose. Now I repeat the whole session and establish an Output, ABC and File Name folder. That was the input and output folder. Next step is to add a file name template. Right click on the input folder and choose Add File Template. You will see here some of the most common predefined templates, but you can also produce your own. We only want to work with PDF, so we will choose PDF only, but let's look how this is set up. Select Edit and you can see that the only files accepted are PDFs. The icon is default, but you can choose between all those icons. Add all functions where the file name is important, you can test if the setup is right by selecting and typing in a file name to see if it is accepted. Here, .ps and it fails, but .pdf is accepted. The file name is simple, and you can set up a very complicated file structure to filter, and then it's a very cool function. If you don't have Webproof, forget about this, Project and Item Code tab. It is only used when Webflow is integrated to the online proofing software webproof.com actions like automatically upload documents, automatically place status, etc. But now we have an established file template. The last step is to add an action to the file name template. Connect by drawing a line between file template and output folder. Choose Move to Folder and Browse to the Destination Folder. You right-click on the Move action and choose Edit. We select Rename and New because we want to insert text in the file name. Activate Insert Text, underscore ABC, and this has to be placed at the Insert portion, dot, and then goes left and backwards from the dot. You can add multiple rename rules on the same rename action just by choosing New. Again, remember to use F1 in order to get more info about rename rules. Let's see the workflow working. First, I will start the workflow process. I pick up some PDF files and drop them into the input folder. You see here in the output folder that we have attached the client name ABC to the file name. Play around yourselves and good luck.